Hey folks, so today I'm going to be going over my profit calculator and how to use it. Um, so this is an updated guide because I've just updated the sheet. And um, this is after Pansy's video as well. So people can basically uh, come to this guide to figure out how this works because I've made updates before, but then I've not updated the actual full guide on how to work it. I just did a video on the newest section. Um, so without further ado, the first thing that you need to do is come into this prices sheet. Uh, this is Waffle Astrid's API. So all you need to do is change your region to whatever region you're in, Southeast Asia, Russia, EU, NA, and then the language to the language that you use so that obviously it's easier for you to understand. Uh, now, obviously it's only these parts that will change like the actual um, names here. So it means you'll have to type in the name in that language. Uh, the whole sheet doesn't translate to that language. Um, now these two, you can ignore for now. Uh, we're just going over basically how to set up for now. And um, then the first thing that you need to do on this one is set your Blackstone price and your concentrated Blackstone price. Now this does change obviously. So uh, the concentrated magical Blackstones have actually come back down a bit, but I've been making the weapon ones. So we'll go 1.6 um, and it, that changes your thing uh, profits. So this bit here is the automatic plus that you have to start off with from doing the quests. If you don't have it unlocked yet, zero. If you have all 30,000 quests, then five. And then obviously whatever it is in between. Now, before this version, you used to just have this one stack, which had everything, but I've broken it up. I'm gonna explain why I broke it up now. So for this, you're gonna to have to set all of these up to be correct for you. Uh, so it will take a moment, but they're all dropped down so you can just select the tiers and work out for the best math for yourself. Now, what you need to bear in mind with this is the discrepancies between what you produce and use of each tier. So as you can see, this makes more prize than it uses. Uh, however, it uses more duos than it produces and it you, you produces more tries than it uses, which is good, uh, but it uses way more tets than it produces. So this isn't self-sufficient. So you'd want to change it to be self-sufficient. Now let's say, um, I'll just stick a try here. You've not got up to pen. You're, you're short of the pen stack. Now what this is going to do is this is going to invalidate the sheet. It's going to be like, well, there's, there's no 240 stack price, so we can't do anything about it. So what you need to do is make sure that it brings up a pen here. It has to have a pen on the side of here somewhere. Now let's say you have multiple pens on here. As you can see, it's 2.9 uh, billion to make it. That's still correct. But at the moment, what it's gonna do is go, okay, these are not correct. So always, if you've got more there, just select it, that whole area, press delete, and then press delete again to get rid of that. And then fill color, reset, and that'll get rid of everything there and keep it tidy. Now, one thing you can also do for these is change the stack that you're starting with from the Blackstones stacks. Um, and then you, obviously you'll have to change these around. Uh, but this, getting rid of those rows below, just keep this accurate. I need to uh, change the maths on that just for basically how many times it restarts. I need to make it so it sets it here. That will be done in the future. But for now, just make sure you don't have it writing pen multiple times. Um, so then, what we do now is, okay, so there's a discrepancy in the amount of tets. We need more tets. Well, that means when we make tet stacks, we need to make sure we produce more tets than we use, which means we'll have extra left over for making our pen stacks. Um, which means that that means the cost of this is helping with the cost of this. So at this moment in time, my tet stack is 465 million, but again, it's using less pry than duo but using more duo than it's producing um, and it's also uh, using more tries than it's producing as well but as i said the tets are over which means i'm gonna have to make try stacks and duo stacks to um synthesize as it were these extra ones that i'm using which means the cost of these are included or additional on the cost of making a tet so if, if these numbers on this side are lower than the numbers on that side, 
then that's the true cost of your stack. However, if not, you need to add in costs of the stacks that you make before that stack, um, if that makes sense. Now, with these, it's a case of I've deliberately set up my 40 stack, so it's two prize and a plus 14, so that I make more duos. So if I'm short on duos, I can do my making a duo stack of a plus 40, um, and then if I've got too many 40 stacks, I can also do a 44 stack. Yes, I'm still using a duo in there, but I'm using the same as my prize setup. Uh, sorry, my 40 stack setup, which means I'm still producing more duos than I'm using. Um, and then let's say I need tries. Well, then we're going to do a tech stack because that's going to produce. Sorry, scratch that. I'm going to be doing the 44 stacks because that produces a try every roughly every two try stacks I make, I'll make a try Reblath. Uh, of course, I can actually change this. So let's say if I went to duo, duo, and then remove this row. Now, I am still okay for the amount of prize that I'm using, uh, but now I'm short on duos, but I'm going to produce a try Reblath pretty much every single time I make a stack. It'll take three attempts to make, so I'll make one try and probably make one duo, and then I'll make the 44 stack doing it like this. Uh, but this one needs more duos because I'm going to use more, which means I use my 40 stacks to produce the extra duos. Um, and that's basically how it works. But always make sure you've got the no name here, which means it will work on the profit sheet. Now, the last thing we need to do for setup is your value pack and your family fame bonus. So yes or no, I want you to have a family pack and then a uh, sorry, value pack. And then family fame bonus is whatever it is from your P screen. Um, I know that's a bit of a weird way to call, call it, but I can't remember the name of the screen. So basically you press P and then your family theme is this one. And it has collected from the central, it's still collected from the central market plus 1.5 in yellow for me. And I get an item drop rate. Uh, so it's the my information screen. Sorry about that. Um, and then now we're getting how to use this. So let's say we want to put different things in different places. That's completely fine. So as long as you know the name of what you're wanting to put on here, you can put it in here. So let's say we want this one to be a Manos necklace. Now this isn't going to be correct. Manos works different. It's why I've got it written down here because their math is different. So don't use Manos. Uh, that was just an example because that's the first thing that popped in my head. Because with Manos, um, it's a case of you don't use two of them, you use the uh, other bits. So that's something that I'm kind of working on. It needs refining. So start for now, you can get rid of that one. Um, but if you want to add extra ones on, basically go from this one, but you need to select all the way across to here. So you need all of this and then you move it down to keep it accurate. Now, just did something, hang on, I'll just undo that. So that's how you use this. Now there's two other bits which I want to just quickly go over. And um, also, sorry, I'll just go over. So if it's green here, that means it's cheaper to make it. So you'd, if you were doing, uh, so this one, for example, uh, Debrackers, it's only profitable to sell them at Tet. However, you make more money if you make it from base all the way up rather than just buying a try and selling at Tet. Obviously, Deborah Records aren't in the market that much, but that's just an example that it's cheaper to make them sometimes. So, for example, if you're making duos, black distortion rings, you're going to equip them. Uh, it would be cheaper to make them yourself rather than buying duos off the market, but it's not worth making a try because it's actually more expensive to make a try than it is to uh, buy one off the market. So, this is an easy to read sheet. It's green if it's profitable, red if it's going to make your loss. So as you can see here, syrups necklace, pry, make you 11 million. Uh, Cagton rings have actually become a loss right now. And um, that's partially due to the customer stacks not being efficient. Uh, but I need to make sure that I make extra stacks. Um, so it depends on how your stacks work, so whether these are going to be efficient to do. Uh, but Ring of Cadu Guardian is profitable across the board. 
Um, so that's a nice one to focus on. Uh, I wouldn't recommend everyone doing the same one, obviously, but uh, at least you can see the profit from these. Uh, currently, because my pen stacks are fairly cheap because of the way that I've changed it, um, it's actually, uh, sorry, my tech stacks are fairly cheap because of the way that I've changed it, it is saying that is really profitable to make tets, uh, but I'm not gonna be making tets like that because it's not self-sufficient. So this is technically not accurate full stop at the moment. Um, you need to be adding on to the costs, but this is just an example. Uh, you do need to change things yourself. Now these two that I glossed over before are your blaster up. So this is the cost for setting up um, when you're making your fail stacks. So what it's going to do is it basically says, on average, it's going to cost you 24 million, but this does not take into account the fail stacks that you're using uh, to make these. Uh, and it also doesn't take into account any 33 fail stacks or 30 stacks, sorry, that you make whilst you're making it, because obviously that would deduce off the price. Uh, so the things that you need to change is the cost of your black stones for uh, concentrated magic for this last part for making the prize, uh, black stones for the rest of it, and then the repair cost, which if you're doing Reblath doesn't change, but if you're going to be doing the, um, got what they're called now, militia weapons, they're like 500 cheaper. Uh, so here is where you go, okay, well, I want eight plus 14 and eight prize. It's going to tell you how much it costs to make them. Let's say you just want to make eight prize. It's going to tell you how much that is. Uh, so that's basically just to work out how much you need on average, you shouldn't use that much, but that's how much you need to make sure that you can make it. Let's say you're always using a zero stack on every single one. This is how much it would cost you to make one plus 14 and eight price. Then the session calculator, this basically is you select whichever accessory you've been enhancing. So let's say we go uh, Ring of the Cadre Guardian and we this is how many you bought. So let's say we buy 150 bases we didn't buy any prize because it's not profitable to buy a prize. Now we go, okay, well, out of that 150, I made 60 prize. And this math might be wrong because obviously it, it might be a case of a run out of prize doing this, but I'm just going off the rough maths. So I need to get this to be the 70, hang on. That should, yeah, that, that's fine. I was gonna say that's not 70, but it's because the way that it's doing its maths. We'll just ignore that for now. Uh, so then we make 33. Oh, that's a too high. It's meant to go 23. It's near enough. Um, no, hang on. I was right. Sorry, 30. Then we make 12. And then we make 3. So we can't make four, that's a bit above. So let's say we make three because we don't make enough. Uh, we can sell three of them. We made four billion profit doing those because each one of these basically tells uh, us how many stacks were consumed. So the cost of each stack there basically. Um, that I was doing some maths for how the chance of me doing as many failures as I did before and something. So I'll get rid of that so you don't have to bother with it. So that's everything with this. And um, if there's anything else you want me to go over that's not clear, let me know and I'll cover it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.